Good morning. Today is Wednesday, the 10th of February, and it's the Feast of Saint Scholastica. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we celebrate anew the memorial of the Virgin Saint Scholastica, we pray, O Lord, that following her example, we may serve you with pure love and happily receive what comes from loving you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. We continue in Genesis, uh, and this is readings from Genesis chapter 2, um, and it's the second of the two creation stories. At the time when the Lord God made earth and heaven, there was as yet no wild bush on the earth, nor had any wild plant yet sprung up. For the Lord God had not sent rain to the earth, nor was there any man to till the soil. However, a flood was rising from the earth and watering all the surface of the soil, surface of the soil. The Lord God fashioned man out of dust from the soil. Then he breathed into his nostrils a breath of life, and thus man became a living being. The Lord God planted a garden in Eden, which is in the east, and there he put the man he had fashioned. The Lord God caused to spring up from the soil every kind of tree, enticing to look at and good to eat, with the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil in the middle of the garden. The Lord God took the man and settled him in the garden of Eden to cultivate and take care of it. Then the Lord God gave the man this admonition. You may eat indeed of all the trees in the garden. Nevertheless, of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you are not to eat. For on the day you eat of it, you must surely die. The word of the Lord. The Gospel in Mark continues uh, with Jesus' confrontation with scribes and Pharisees. Jesus called the people to him and said, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that goes into a man from outside can make him unclean. It is the things that come out of a man that makes him unclean. If anyone has ears to hear, let him listen to this. When he had gone back into the house away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. And he said to them, Do you not understand either? Can you not see that whatever goes into a man from outside cannot make him unclean? because it does not go into his heart, but through his stomach and passes out into the sewer. Thus he pronounced all foods clean. And he went on, It is what comes out of a man that makes him unclean. For it is from within, from men's hearts, that evil intentions emerge. Fornication, theft, murder, adultery, avarice, malice, deceit, indecency, envy, slander, pride, folly. All these things come from within and make a man unclean. The Gospel of the Lord. The readings today tell us about what it is to be human and what it is to be a follower of Christ. The first reading, the second creation story, quite different from the first, there's not the sequence of days, and also the earth is already there, God doesn't make the earth, but he fashions man out of the soil but the key thing is he breathes his spirit into him so that the spirit of God animates man. He's put in the garden, we're told that of the, there's of the couple of trees there, it's the tree of life and the tree of good and evil. Perhaps we could call it the tree of conscience. And he must not eat of the tree of conscience, saying to a man, therefore, he must be moral. And that's at the heart of the gospel today when they're questioning him about cleanliness and uncleanliness, Jesus moves away from, shall we say, external things, such as which food you eat and which food makes you clean and unclean. Says, Whatever food you eat, it doesn't matter. It just passes through you and goes out again. What makes you clean or unclean is subjective. It's what, what comes from your heart, comes from within. Your evil desires, your passions, the way you treat your brother, envy, jealousy, things like that. And that's the heart of the Christian message, that we're to control the urges that spring up with us, 
because we are made from the soil, all sorts of urges spring up with us. It's perhaps it's second nature to be jealous, to be envious, sexual immorality, to lust after possessing things that we want, and temptations to therefore to thieve, etc. Whatever it is, we're called as Christians to control our passions, our desires, and order our life following into the life following the life of Jesus and his his leadership. We're to control what we would eat, not trying to eat the tree of the apple of good and evil, from the tree of good and evil. And the example we're given today is that of, we're not sure whether she was the sister in spirit, the twin sister in spirit, or the real twin of St. Benedict. But she f was always close to her brother. She founded or set up a, a commune of sisters, a house of sisters at the bottom of Monte Cassino when St. Benedict was at the, in the big uh, Benedictine monastery at the top. And he, he came down and visited her and they got together once a year. So she's an example of a woman dedicating her life totally to praying in service of God and living in community with others. And it's that prayer of all those communities that we so rely on when we come to the life of the parish, our outreach, etc. We need the prayer of others as well as the goodwill of others to carry on God's message and carry it out into the world. We turn to our bidding prayers. The response is, Lord Jesus, we are your brothers and sisters. We give thanks to Christ and we praise him because he was not ashamed to call us his brothers and sisters. Lord Jesus, we are your brothers and sisters. Help us to live the new life of Easter so that all may know through us the power of your love. Lord Jesus, we are your brothers and sisters. Every day is proof of your love. As you bring us to this new day, make us new in mind and in heart. Lord Jesus, we are your brothers and sisters. Teach us to see you present in all people. Help us to recognise you most of all in those who suffer. Lord Jesus, we are your brothers and sisters. May our lives today be filled with your compassion. Give us the spirit of forgiveness and a generous heart. Lord Jesus, we are your brothers and sisters. And you taught us to pray to the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord God, may we, like Saint Scholastica, serve you with unsullied love. Then our joy will be full as we receive from your loving hand all that we desire and ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good day. Keep safe in the snow.